Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of 7. Did you know that when you change the extension springs on your garage doors, if you had a broken one, that there are different types of strength in garage door springs? Today I'm going to show you how to choose the right spring for your garage door. And here's the one that just broke the other day on me. As you can see, the loops at the end of the spring are broken and I'm going to show you how to choose the right tension of spring for your garage door. So at this end of the spring, I see that it's painted blue. So that tells me that the springs for my doors will be painted blue at the end. But who knows, maybe whoever previously put these springs in could have put the wrong springs in. So I'm going to show you what you can do. So what you could do is like get your bathroom scale and you'll unhook the springs from your door because you're going to change them anyway, right? So you'll unhook the springs from your garage door and so that the garage door is freely moving. And you want to open that garage door a little bit, put the bathroom scale under the door, and then lower the garage door slowly on top of your bathroom scale and see what that door weighs. I did that. My garage doors were around 140 pounds. Once you weigh your door, you want to go, either you can go online or you can just go by this video here. So right here, you'll see, here's mine. It was 140 pounds, so it takes a dark blue spring. So if you have a door that is between 115 and 125 pounds, it'll take a green painted spring. If you have a door that is 85 to 95 pounds, must be a pretty small door, it'll be painted light blue. And then if you have a door that is 155 to 165 pounds, it'll be painted brown on the end. And then for the large doors that weigh 175 to 185 pounds, the spring will be painted gold. And that's how you choose which spring is the right tension for your garage door. So like I said, I just replaced the two extension springs on my garage door. And you can find a link to that video in the description below or else I might have it at the end of the video or on a card somewhere up here. Yeah, probably up here. I also have a video for how to install safety cables through the middle of those extension springs for your garage door. That's important too. You don't want that spring flying around and hitting somebody or hitting your cars or damaging something else in your garage. There will be a link down below for that too as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and we will see you on the next video.